Tara Jacobson, Marketing Art Fleece. So, we have our pin on Pinterest, and we did that yesterday, and we've given it a chance to season a little bit. <laughs> and now, doing one pin of your one product isn't going to do much for us. So the first thing we want to do is to schedule this pin to go out over the next, um, I like to do 10 days in between um, my pins because you want Pinterest to not think you're spamming this one pin. So you want to um, let them know that you're going to be, you're going to pin this multiple times, but you don't want to do it like every day for a week or anything like that. So remember we said we need to have three to five boards that this would go on. And this went on my vintage finds board already. I can see what board it's on. See, Pinterest would think that I would put it on. It's right there. See, vintage finds. You can see where it is. But now I want to grab, oops, I'm going to move this down for you. See this pin URL? We want to grab this pin URL. So this is if we're going to manually schedule these. And if you just have a few items in your shop or you're just um, launching a new product every now and then, maybe this would work for you. What I would do is I would open up my calendar. Do, do, do. Okay. So I originally pinned that pin Wednesday the 21st. I would go to the Friday the 30th, usually I would go 31 days, and I would say pin to, and then it could go on vintage office board, okay? And then I would put this here, and I make all, I color code everything. So these are what I have to do. And then on the 30, 30th, I would, when I came to that day, I would be like this. I would click on this. And then I would come in here and I would say vintage office, office decor, and I would click save, right? It's not been 10 days. I'm not going to take a month to do this. Um, but then I would save it to that vintage office decor board, right? And then I would come back into my calendar as I was pinning, and I would go 10 more days, so let's say the 13th, and I would say pin to vintage library. go okay and you can absolutely do that that is a way that you could and you'll see sometimes um, that I do uh, all different kinds of some of my weeks are, are just all kinds of full of things that, that I need to do um, even using a scheduling tool but if you were going to be doing this, you could definitely schedule this pin out using your regular calendar. Now, what I use is a program called Tailwind, okay? And what you do is you get it in your thing, in your browser, and right when I publish this, so I don't have to wait a day, I don't have to go onto my calendar to, or do anything like that, I would say Vintage Library Decor, Vintage, office decor, I don't think I have glamorously vintage on this account, but I would put it onto my shop, right? And then what you do is you come down here, I'm going to scooch this up so you guys can see it. I would say use interval because I want to uh, do the same thing. So I'm going to say start the next one on the 30th. And then I'm going to say optimize 10 days apart. So I could say, I always do 10 days apart. I know some people do seven days apart. That's maybe a little close. And I know some people do two weeks apart. And then I would say set interval. And I'm going to say schedule now. And then that will go into my schedule. And I never have to think about this pin again. Okay. 
So that is, I'm a huge proponent for using automation tools. Raw collection, nice. Um, I'm a huge proponent for using automation tools whenever I can because that is going to just save me so much time and effort and I don't have to keep going back and, and remembering to do all those things. In fact, I am going to go, sorry guys, real quick. Now I don't have to do this now. I don't have to do this in, um, you know, 10 days. I don't have to keep thinking about it. I only have to think about it once when I pin it. And there'll be a link to uh, sign up for a free trial for Tailwind. If you're going to be, if you're this far into it, honestly, if you're this far into this class and you're making extra boards and you're uh, making more than one pin for your pins and for your products and you're doing all this, you need to find a scheduler. And I've used a number of different schedulers and I've found that Tailwind is the best one and it's the one that I recommend. So hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully.